take care of him, but there are weekends when we go different places out of town. Uh, I bore him at sometimes at my vet office uh, if it's more than 24 hours. If it's 24 hours, I just leave him in the garage with the food and water, of course. And but yeah, if you're having to leave, to leave him alone more than one day and stuff. If it's more than one day, I don't. But all day, though, all you day. do. So yeah, all that's... Day. If it's if it's a whole if it's just one day if it's 24 hours I leave him alone. Um, he is he deserves. We used to take him to dog parks and. Um, I remember I saw you there at the Hooper Park. Only have time. We, most of the time we were gone taking care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so he's alone and he is he is a very patient dog. Uh, whatever you do to him. He is. So he'd be good with children? Hmm? He'd be good with children? Probably? What? With children? He'd be good with children? Oh, yeah. He is. He is very gentle. He's very not beagle-like. Like, not beagle-like? <laughs> That's going to be a selling point. <laughs> That's funny. So you meaning like he's just not quite as... Um, um, he's very gentle. Very gentle? Very gentle. And... Uh, he looks awesome right now. He... Um, well, and he is very patient. He had an ingrown toenail, and we had to do a little surgery, get it out. And uh, I was amazed. He was very, very patient. Like he knew exactly what, what we were doing, and it was necessary. For Even though you were hurting patient. him to mm-hmm. dig it out, yeah. And when, I, when I was taking his staples out, it was just amazing. He, he would just stay still and wait for me to finish. I mean, I he was, they know I will I take a few and then, and then I'll, I'll say good boy and I will just, just pet him for a second and, and then he'll relax again and I'll take a few more and I'll do that again. Just, just to let me, mm-hmm. uh, like he knew, like, like he understands what's going on. That you're helping him. I think they know. When they he, trust you. You've never he heard him sick, before. He couldn't walk. I wrapped him in a blanket and uh, I took him uh, to a car, and I called my vet, and they said, well, you know what, we have emergency doctor on call in our clinic, because um, the first, first clinic I called, I didn't realize that my clinic was open on weekends, I called another clinic that was here in the neighborhood, and they said, well, no, recording said, no, we, we, we closed, go to the ER, and gave us directions to the ER. Then I decided, well, I'll just call my clinic, see what, what they have. And they actually had a doctor on call, and I called doctor on call. He said, well, I described everything, and I had intestinal obstruction myself once. Mm-hmm. When I saw him, his symptoms and all mm-hmm. this, I, I knew pretty much what was happening. And so I described it, and they said, well, bring him in right away, because with intestinal obstruction, you can actually die very quickly from dehydration. And uh, can you turn on that light? Does it come on? Thank you. This is good video we're getting of him, and he's being his sweet little calm self. Say, I get excited when the chicken comes out, though. But I just feel like I am videotaping Petunia. Mm -hmm. He just looks just like his mother. He looks just like his mother. He's a sweet baby boy. Hartley, we're going to try and find you a family that can spend more time with you, baby. He has one friend. There's a, a little white dog comes, and they play together. And then they fight. <laughs> and then they play, and then they fight. And uh, the dog gets in the garage and took his food once. <gasps> oh, he got so mad. <laughs> he was just furious. Of course. That's his food. And we, we have a little playground for him at the backyard where we have all the... Uh, branches and some toys, and he likes empty bottles. Uh, like plastic, plastic water bottles? Yes, mm-hmm. they make that crunchy Yep, they make a fun noise. A noise, and he just plays with that. Like, what do you, you do in boy? You look sad. Say, I'm just chilling.